350 laps run at Indianapolis Raceway Park in the Craftsman Truck Series. Mike Skinner has led every single one of them, but he will not lead lap 351. The reason? He missed qualifying today because he had to qualify over the Brickyard. He got the number six spot, but it means he's going to start from the 34th position, and he's going to have a long way to go to make it three victories in a row. And there would be the black flag he has heated that black flag skinner has gone to the pits there he comes that was definitely oil and uh, the official said we'll have none of that so a great charge from last to 16. he has gone to the pits and uh, the crew are there to attend to it oh did you see that flag when that fireman take a header I sure did. wow Opening on a gymnastics team for him somewhere. If you do that with a fire extinguisher, imagine what you could do in a little leotard. Man, I'm done. Back at Indianapolis Raceway Park, caution for the sixth time tonight. We're just getting ready to tell you, coming back from commercial, what a great job Rick Fuller was doing in the Doug Taylor Motorsports car number 40. He started back in 25th spot and was running second. And we turned to say something about Fuller and suddenly, boom, he's in the wall. Well, it looked like possibly a tire cut down going into the first turn. He was running a great line and went down into the corner. And as you can see right there, the sparks flew and he had no way to get the car stopped in time, get it turned in time and miss the wall. And uh, very unfortunate, he was having a great run. Horseshoe NASCAR Featherhead Modified fans know Rick Fuller driving for Art Berry up there very successfully, former series champion. And ouch, he hit it pretty hard as apparently, as you said, Brett, a tire going down on the right front of that KFC Ford. And we have a crash. Will we have a caution? That is Rich Bickle who is facing the wrong direction on the racetrack and the caution comes out with six laps to go. Wow, 